this is a quick video on how to use the new marker system um, using Hal's editor. First thing I did is when I loaded up the editor, I clicked prefab editor, which brought up one window. And then I went back to this, I clicked prefab editor, and it brought up the second window. Hal's, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to test this out for Hal and help maybe uh, give a few hints and suggestions on how it could be best used, and he has graciously decided to uh, do what I asked him to do. So, fantastic. Love Hal. He's awesome. Long story short, though, um, I'm going to show you what its purpose is. So I have, let's say, a giant blank canvas right here, and I'm adding buildings slowly but surely. This is actually Dyersville that I've deleted all the buildings from, and I'm adding my own custom buildings one by one. Let's say I want to add a building here, right? The problem is, and, and, I, and I want to add this building. The problem is, is sometimes you lose your place. So, for instance, if I go to copy and copy, and I go over here, when I go here, it's fine. Eh, I don't really want it there. I can control Z it, and I can move it over here. Okay, that's fine. That's exactly what I want to do. So I go to the next layer, and I copy, and I go to the next layer, and holy shit, where do I go? Oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? So do I go here? And then I go here and I see it's off. And then I go here, maybe I go here and I go here. Okay, that's one way to do it, I guess. But what if there's a better way? How about I shift, right click, uh, control right click here rather, control right click here. And then I control right click here. All right. So. Now, what it's doing right now is I place the marker here, which corresponds with this grid coordinate. And when I place this marker here, it corresponds with this grid coordinate. And I'm going to ask how to do different colors or something to kind of make them a little bit more unique. But for the most part, I'll point, this actually works really well. So now when I go and I go over here and I copy and I go over here, I know exactly where to hover over to click right click. And it all lines up. Here, copy, here. Perfect. And it all lines up. And I find that to be a whole lot easier than the insert prefab method or the guesstimate method of where might it be. Um, to remove the markers, you simply control right click the markers again and they sort of disappear on their own. And I can delete them from both sides. And that is how you use the marker system. And that is how I am so far able to insert a whole bunch of buildings, um, basically making a custom Dyersville.